Today I'm going to show you guys my personal tips and tricks on getting multiplayer camos, Road to the Emulsia. This is specifically for Nuketown 24-7 now that it is the most efficient way. This video is specifically for long shots and there is a multiple directions you can shoot from to get these long shots. But I'm going to show you guys the most two efficient ways and you'll see other players doing the same thing. So. You could just farm off of them, they'll farm off of you, and you just keep going back to back to back, and you could literally get at least like 10 long shots a game. Once I got 40 long shots in one match, so it's really efficient. I'll see you guys on Nuketown. Alright guys, so you could do this on any side of the map. So for this side, which would be greenhouse, you would go to the backyard. You can sit right here and then shoot straight ahead from other people doing long shots. You can also see the wooden door and with that wooden door you can literally just wall me. Then you can come all the way over here. It could be whatever the distance is for your long shot. You'll just go from here and you'll shoot the other player. And then using that you'll get most of the long shots. Now let's show you guys the other side. Alright guys, now that we're on the other side, you would go to the same exact spot right here. You would shoot across and the benefit here is that such there's such a tight spot where you could just lay down and then shoot and you could barely get shot at. You can still get shot at from people through the door and you can also use this door to your advantage as well. You could literally strafe through this peak and you can shoot through the wall at the same time, which makes it more efficient for you getting the kills and them not killing you. Then you can also come to this window and believe it or not, you can shoot through this wooden wall once they spawn and then you would just shoot through this wall and you'll just get some simple kills. From the distance, you'll get long shots most of the time. Now keep in mind that all of this has to be done in a hardcore nuke town when everyone's one shot. If it's sniper, you could still do hardcore, but if you know how to hit where it's one shot, then you'll be good to go and you could just use core. There'll be less people doing long shots if it's on core. So if you're having struggle with people doing long shots on core, just go to hardcore, it's not a big deal. All right. All right guys, those are the most efficient ways, but more ways would be right here. They would peek after they spawn, and then you would go far back to this fence, and then shoot the players that come straight through this out. There's another spot here using the railing. You can jump here to here, you could just climb up. Then you would go to the f farthest you could get on the corner, and then you would peek the alleyway that's there that you can see. They will also peek here. If they're not peeking there, they could be peeking here or the garage. Other than that, they could be peeking through the door or window. And if you get your nice angle, you can see you have all the space to shoot them. And they won't expect that at first, but later on they'll probably see it. That's why you have more other directions to get the long shots from. The most obvious one here, which would be window to window, but you can't be going straight up to the window and then shooting them. Other than if it's like a pistol or shotgun, I don't even know if a shotgun can reach that. But the best way to get these long shots, if you're going to use the window, is going far back. This spot is more better since you can control your distance on it and then the person at the window will peek and then bam. If you guys really don't want to do Nuketown, you could come to Satellite on the normal map rotation and this would be the best bet when you have this open this sand area right here and then you would just peek. Obviously you should use a better scope so you can get that distance off. 
attachments that are best recommended to get these long shots starting with the optic using the most zoomed in optic like the axle arms three times the royal and cross four times and the susat multi-zoom then for the muzzle you would use the socom eliminator then for the barrel you would use the barrel that would give you the effective damage range then for body you would use the sof target design eater so you could see where the enemy is and they're highlighted since you're already adsing you don't need any of other flashlights like the mount team spotlight then for under barrel you would use the field agent grip then for the magazine you would use either the highest magazine or the highest magazine with the then for handle you would use the airborne elastic wrap or crew elastic wrap and then for the stock you would use the SAS combat stock so you could strafe through the garage like I stated before. Then you can use this for any gun so you could keep using these same attachments for every gun. The MP5 here you would use the multi zoom agency, agency suppressor or the SOCOM limit. for watching and learning how to do your long shots on Nuketown specifically and get them done really quickly. You can do these long shots so quickly. Yeah, see you guys later.